Hello and welcome to Prime Debate. I have been using mobile phone for the past 10 years and I am sure most of our viewers too. Mobile phones are used by almost everybody these days. When you meet a new person or when you have a new friend, the information that you take from that person is his or her mobile phone number. Using mobile phones has lots of advantages and disadvantages. We are trying to list the pros and cons of using a mobile phone in this debate. Mobile phones are a mixed blessing for many of us. While some of us may miss the days of going out in public without hearing phones ringing all around us, most people do not miss being stranded on the side of the road with no way to call for help. The allure of having a convenient way to communicate has resulted in an increase in mobile phone usage over the years. Mobile phones have given rise to new rules of etiquette and even new laws and regulate their use. Like so many other people these days, our livelihoods are based on being connected, be it online or on cell phones. But instead of keeping us connected to the world, the cell phone has set up a wall between us and the people and community around us. Cell phone use has crept into every aspect of daily life, ironically weakening the basic human communication that is the fabric of any community. Billions of people across the world use cell phones. Though cell phones can be wonderful, liberating tools of communication, freeing us from the confines of an office and providing more leisure time, they often do the exact opposite. It seems the more connected we are, the more detached we become. Cell phone use has blurred the boundaries between work and non-work time, increasing stress and tension within families and between friends. Yet the benefits of these new communication tools cannot be denied either. But with self-discipline, it is possible for us to set boundaries. So why not pick a day each week, say Sunday, and turn off all the machines for the entire day? Rumor has it, you can still get the important news in paper form. To discuss this, we have in our studios Dalip Singh Virk, who is a real estate developer, Dr. Sandhya Dhankar, a radiologist, Ashish Sachseva, who is a businessman. Welcome to our studios, everybody. Ashish, let me begin with you. How many numbers do you carry? Uh, I carry five numbers with me. And why so many? Because I have many businesses which I have to head. Mm -hmm. I carry separate numbers for every business I carry. Okay, what kind of businesses you are into? Uh, I'm into real estate. I'm into finance work also. Mm -hmm. Besides that, we do immigration, PR. Then I have a number for my family mm -hmm. and for my friends also. So okay. on an average, how many calls you receive uh, in a day? Calculate, I can receive, uh, make minimum of one call per minute. One call per, per minute. And, and per mobile. Per mobile. <laughs> Interesting. And SMSs? Unlimited. 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 I, do, I don't get time to read them all. So. Okay, how do you cope with this? Like you are saying, if you are carrying five numbers, uh, one minute, uh, in one minute, one call from each number. So it it is like kind of five uh, calls a minute, I would five say. Five calls a minute, then... And uh, you miss some, and then you call them back, yeah, and uh, how do you cope uh, with now that? Now, what I've done is, uh, the I've applied a formula. I have different time zones for different mobile numbers. Mm -hmm. Like, mm, one mobile number I switch on for two hours, and other mobile number for another two hours. Like, my family timing is different, my business timings are different. Mm -hmm. I switch on my home number during lunch time, during dinner time, during evening. So if in between your family wants to approach you, they cannot? I know. I keep them on silent. Mm -hmm. So I, they, I told them specifically that you call me during this time only. Okay. And if there's an emergency, I've got uh, another number so they can call me on that Do number. you filter your calls as well? Some uh, some people are like, okay, fine, uh, the, this call I do not want to take or my, I might take it in the evening or this is not that urgent. Do you have that kind of... Uh, yeah, I do, I do. Actually, I've taken uh, uh, service from uh, my provider that I uh, filter the calls. Like unwanted calls, I block them. Mm -hmm. So when they call me, it uh, tells them this phone is not available. But I get a message that they've called me. So okay. uh, that's how I do. Uh, same for you, Dilip. How many numbers you uh, keep with you? I carry two phones. You carry two phones. Yeah. Okay, and uh, if I ask you the same question, how many calls you receive in a day? See, uh, it's, it's totally variant day to day. Mm -hmm. I cannot say that, you know, at times our phone, both the phones keep on running, uh, ringing, you know, time every minute, but at times then somebody doesn't call you for an hour or so, mm -hmm. but on average something around 50 calls. What kind of business you are into? 
I mean, you are into real estate. Is it like estate. Uh, kind of uh, just property dealing, leasing and rent or other mm, stuff? No, like uh, we uh, believe in buying things. So we, we have a group of investors all joined together. So we just pick up properties, sell them. Hmm. Depends, totally depends on what. You know. So it shows that this uh, business is flourishing. It definitely is. Right, by the phone calls. Uh, yeah, you can say that. I went to banking before this. Okay. And, and uh, why you left banking? Just because of my cell phones. Oh, that's interesting. So we need to know m much about it. See, uh, when I was in banking, uh, you're, you know, any private job, it, it's not just a job from 9 to 5. You know, basically these d the private jobs demand your involvement from 8 in the morning till probably 10 at night. Right. And both my number used to keep ringing, ringing from, you know, 8 in the morning and late in the evening. You could not take out time for anything else. Mm -hmm. So. Then I finally decided that I need to sit my. But this is field. the same in the business as well. I mean, no. you cannot avoid the clients or. Uh, see, my current business is a little different to that because mm -hmm. you're the one who making calls, mm -hmm. and you you only receive calls according to for your business when you want them to. Right. So you have a little command over your thing right now. Hmm. Uh, you know, you cannot, you can never neglect uh, neglect your clients. Okay. So in this field, now I am a client myself. So. Right. It's on the other side of it. Let me come to you, Dr. Sandhya. Um, I think you are just a single number user yeah. like me, right? Yes. Uh, but still, you are into a professional where your patients would like to reach to you yes. any hour of the day or any hour of the mm -hmm. night. So, tell us about uh, that. Yeah, we do receive calls uh, uh, at like any time of the day, mm -hmm. even at night sometimes. So, um, but we are doctors, we have to keep our mobiles on mm -hmm. and that's our responsibility to attend those calls also. Right. Does your fam family life also get affected with that? Yeah, sometimes. Okay. What, what, what kind of issues so do like you Even face? if on Sundays um, we are going out somewhere but I receive a call and I have to go back to hospital and you know, that also it's a part. Mm -hmm. Now, actually, let's discuss uh, for the purpose we have called you on yeah. our uh, debate. Uh, what is the effect of the mobile phone on the health of any human being? So, as such, uh, there are many issues coming up now with long-term use of the mobiles. So, uh, I initially, it was a convenient tool for us to communicate, but nowadays, with a lot of use, uh, there are uh, issues coming up with the brain tumors. Okay. Their mobiles, but up till now, there has it this been proven yet? No. Okay. Not yet. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a long study going on in Danish and in Italy also. Since last 20 years, they are searching, but uh, no definite connection or a confirmation of brain cancer or cancer with the mobile phone usage is uh, not up till now. Is Dr. Sandhya, like one thing I've been feeling whenever I use phone over a long period of time, yeah. I start feeling the headache. Yeah, oh, headaches, that, yeah. dizziness, yeah. and loss of uh, memory uh, concentration, yeah. concentration, memory yeah. loss, yeah. these are known uh, nowadays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like these are the known things, but cancer is not. I've also read somewhere that it actually increases a certain amount of blood pressure, which is quite minimum, but with the switch on and switch off of the mobile, you can actually tell, the, uh, the, uh, according to see the studies. It, uh, it is uh, a debatable issue still, whether uh, they cause uh, increase in blood pressure, palpitation, heart diseases, mm -hmm. and uh, especially it is seen in uh, there is a research uh, done in Australia where they have seen that in cases of monkeys, there were um, uh, uh, this uh, blood brain barrier losses there, mm -hmm. and uh, in um, some cases they have seen that it releases toxins in the brain. Okay. But while the, what will be the effect of those toxins? It will come later. There is some kind of a worm in our, our uh, brain. It is there. Yeah, but it, 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 it releases. It's, it's a thermal effect of the mobile. Mm -hmm. It releases. It starts releasing more eggs. With uh, uh, I think by which you actually get into some kind of a depression or something. This is what I read on the net. Okay. Uh, the thing is, it causes heat energy release, mm -hmm. which uh, you know blood brain barrier is disrupted by it and the toxins are released mm -hmm. that is what is the theory behind it it right. causes headache dizziness 
and these memory losses sometimes. Besides that, just like I also heard it uh, affects your DNA also, like the yeah. isn't okay. it? Okay. They, they, uh, they have done a study on in rats and uh, mm. there were some DNA changes which uh, leads to uh, some kind of reproductive uh, uh, you know infertility kind of a yeah. thing also sometimes. Mm. Okay. So for I, I know a person who lost his uh, uh, hearing mm -hmm. due to phones. Mm. But, is that but that was like way back, five years back and mm -hmm. you know the the doctor told them it used to excessive use of mobile phones. Mm -hmm. But at that time uh, probably you know me also being a little young, I could not really believe it. But right. now that looking at the effects of the phones, it's actually, it, it would definitely uh, have harmful effects. Uh, Dr. Sandhya, if you look at mobile use, uh, like, I mean we guys are extensively using mobile phones from past one decade. Mm -hmm. to is this enough time to actually kind of you know hold a research and come to res come to a results and then come to a conclusion See, that uh, uh, I would say that radiation exposure or you know thermal effects of the mobile uh, these are very minor effects and slow uh, effects. So it is only decade will not tell you mm -hmm. maybe a hundred years maybe two hundred years. Mm -hmm. You must have read about Nagasaki Hiroshima Nagasaki. Right. They, the radiation effects were uh, almost after five hundred years, mm -hmm. and they are still facing those, still there. those right. uh, elements are still so going I think on. Coming coming generations are going to be affected. Yeah, maybe hundred years back. Right. Even we guys are affected. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So well, uh, yeah. The, the I don't know what the later on fix, but right now the peace of mind definitely is taken by, by you hmm. know, is taken away by the mobiles. So yeah. the immediate so side effect which we can you know observe in ourselves and uh, you know that is loss of concentration. Mm -hmm. The uh, mental peace is not there. Not we right. are disturbed basically yes. and sometimes confused Actually. because of lot of things happening in right. at the same time in our minds. Mm -hmm. Like I am a traveler, frequent traveler, I fly um, lots. Whenever I go out of my country, like the mobile usage decreases a lot. Okay. And when I come back to India, as I land at the airport, mm. switch on my mobile. So the, I guess you want to remain back. up in the air, right? <laughs> <laughs> Is that? Yeah. But do you feel yeah. like irritated by the end of the day after a whole day when you have actually answered on an average uh, uh, 200 to 300 calls in a day? Do you feel? Uh, I have planned to give up my mobile phone like. Uh, there's a plan in my going on in my mind. I okay. should eventually give up my mobile phones. It's uh, not, it's not easy. Even me an option. Smoking is not easy. If how <laughs> can you quit almost all your five numbers? <laughs> no, it can be delegated. Not not quit. Like I okay. believe that mobile phone cannot be stopped, but the usage right. can be smart. It can smart. be smart right. usage. Yeah. So we'll talk about the smart usage once we are back from the break. It's time for a short break now. We have more when we return. Stay tuned. We are discussing the pros and cons of mobile usage. Ashish, let me again begin with you. You just mentioned about the smart usage of mobile. What do you mean by that? I mean uh, we should, uh, the purpose of life, if we study any holy book also, is to not live in the future or in the past, but in the present moment. Right. And while using the mobile, we are missing the present moment. So what do you think you are exactly missing? In the present moment like, means like the moment with your family, uh, yeah, with your yeah. loved ones. You are sitting with your friend or very important person in your life and you suddenly get a mobile phone and you say, Hanji, Hanji, I am or something. You are, you are neglecting the person who is sitting with you mm -hmm. and you are into another world which is not here in the present. But I think that person will still understand because that person is also in a habit of uh, taking calls and replying to messages when in a conversation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about the kids. Do they feel neglected? Yeah. Yeah, they do feel. Yes, and Dr. Sandhya, you have kids, right? Yeah. So tell they us they about sometimes them. do feel neglected, especially.